I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with actor-producer Everett Houston. How does it feel to have your short film, We All Have Our Armies, at nine film festivals? Uh, it's great, yeah. It's uh, exciting to see uh, a small film like that, something that we were uh, humbly investigating and exploring, but also excited and inspired by uh, have such a life to it. So we're, we're happy. And can you speak a little bit to the importance of making this film about, uh, I guess, dating or marrying within culture and how relatable a topic it is today? I mean, we live in such a diverse society. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the things that we intended uh, when we built this film, it was actually part of a larger slate uh, of films that we um, uh, we put together through uh, my company, Blue Flame Collective. It was our second slate, and it was called Village Global, and it was intended to celebrate the diversity of Toronto. Mm -hmm. And we thought that this film uh, accomplished that very well. Uh, Writer-director Bobby Del Rio brought it to us. We got inspired, uh, and all the pieces seemed to fall into place. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's the kind of subject matter that a lot of people will relate to. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Have you had any, I have had a personal experience similar to that of the film, have you had any personal dating experiences where you felt either discriminated against or where your family wasn't into it based on culture or race, if you, if you want to disclose? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, have, um, I have dated uh, different people from different uh, ethnic cultural backgrounds. And uh, luckily for me, for me, my parents uh, are, are loving and supportive of, of whatever decision I make. Um, and I haven't really encountered uh, too much adversity from the other side. But from time to time, outside family members, maybe extended family, uh, you may feel a little bit of discomfort. And, and that's why we felt like it's something that you know, and it definitely still exists in other circumstances, and it's well documented. But so, which is why we felt we'd go after it. I mean, we're pretty lucky here in in Toronto, but it's it's less like that other places. So, and maybe that speaks to the success of the film and why it's playing in so many different regions. Uh, yeah. Great. And you and Farah had a wonderful chemistry in this film. Can you speak a little bit to how you got into character and how you the two of you became so comfortable with one another? Yeah, I mean, I think we've we've known each other for quite a while, and so um, really, when you have a great script like that, um, you just you take your time to make sure you're you're focused, and and so you can provide your best work. And Bobby was really great about getting us in the zone, and he has a a different kind of style. Uh, he lets the takes run a little longer, which is a a real gift for an actor because you get an opportunity to to really uh, provide a whole performance, mm -hmm. yeah. And tell me a little bit more about working with Bobby Del Rio. What was your preparation like for the film as well as uh, on set? You just spoke a little bit about longer takes, but were there any other technical differences or nuances he had? Yeah, well, I think um, he's really interested in rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's a rarity often in film uh, to get a chance to really work through it, and so that's why it's it's a pleasure, and and we were we were jazzed for it as well. We were ready to go, and and wanted to uh, rehearse, and so and that and that gives you all kinds of time to to feel things out, and and uh, and then on set, it's just you know once once you have that uh, background and experience, and and you're familiar with it, you can you can experiment with it in the moment, and, and that's what you want to do. You want to be able to provide different options and really go for it on the day. Mm -hmm. And how are you hoping that audiences respond to this film, and do you think that in different parts of the world it might be responded to differently? I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope so. I yeah. hope so. I hope it speaks to people. It seems to be the case of, of the people that have seen the film and the festivals it's played. Uh, people come back to us and, and they remember it, which is nice. I mean, that's what you always want. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they'll tell us a, a, a similar story or an experience that they had. And I think anytime you can get people thinking about uh, a private matter in this way and, and to think a little 
deeper. Uh, I think it's I think it's better, and so hopefully that happens more. And and uh, yeah, we look forward to more more feedback and more success. Hopefully, more stories. <laughs> more stories, always. <laughs> and where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and to follow you as well as the film online? Um, I guess you know for the film, uh, all of our social media feeds. We're always updating that content on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, and then any information you're looking uh, for, for, for on me specifically and or on the film you can find on IMDb. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on a terrific film. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. I'm here with actor-producer, I'm going to do that again, sorry. <laughs>